Hi folks. Uh, happy day to everyone. Thanks for coming and watching my channel. Uh, I'm Mel, Mel B's Paper Creations, and I'm going to come and share a really fun mini album that I was really excited about doing for a gal, uh, a special order for a gal, who had asked a long time ago if I had any kind of musical paper, dancing, orchestra, and I'm going to tell you folks, it was not an easy thing to find, um, unless you spent a gazillion dollars on Etsy, Amazon, or um, wherever else. And of course, she was on a budget, so I said, well, and she wasn't in a big hurry. So I said, you know, give me some time. I'm a gatherer. I might just find something. And folks, I did. I found this, the performance stack, um, and I think it's made by DC... WV or maybe not. Yeah, DCWV had 42 sheets. There was some missing in this, but I'm going to show you. I got this at Goodwill for $3.99 and I couldn't believe it. I thought, oh my goodness, I have found the stack. So she was ever so excited about this. I think this was in 2011 or 2000, something like that. But anyway, it's very old. And as you can see, I barely have any left. Um, ooh, sorry for the shadow. It's because I have my curtains open. <laughs> I don't have very much left, but I have, oh, look at these beautiful acetate sheets, which I did use, but not to its entirety in this book because I still can't quite figure out how to glue them down the way I like. But I have enough left over to do, of course, another itty bitty mini like I like to do. So let me share with you what I created. Put that down. Uh, this book is really fun. I did use the acetate on the cover. Let me see if I turn that one off. Nope. That still gives me a glare. Mm, I wonder why I have this giant glare. Anyway, I'm sorry, folks. Um, so I used the acetate here, and I backed it on black cardstock and fussy cut it out. Um, I loved how it just said music. It's blank on the sides here. Uh, it is a 7.5 by 8 with a 3-inch spine. And I think it has six pages. One three, four, yeah, it's got six pages, but it looks like a lot more pages because of the way I cut it out. But these were the little cutouts and that was all they had. So in the first inside, oh, also three eighth inch gusset. Sorry, folks. Um, I used a really pretty EK success border punch here that I've had for years that I absolutely love. And I think my work might sell that too. Um, but all these were these cute little cut aparts and I just use it as a pocket. And inside is where I use the acetate of this little booklet. I just glued it carefully on the inseams here. So you could put a picture here or back them. I mean, you could put four pictures in here easily if you'd like. Loved the cut apart here. Life is a dance from one stage to the next. I hope my lady loves this. I had a lot of fun building it. So the first page here is just one of these little cutouts with the drum. And then I created a large tag pocket. I just added the acetate in there. I didn't glue it down. Um, so when she gets it, she can either use it or not. I figured she could, you know, put a picture on there, something. And then I, of course, these were some of the cut parts. So let me put that up closer to us here. And then over here, some gold trim, and then again with that border. And then right here is a pocket. So it pulls out like this. It says, Music um, is Love. And this was something I had in my stash that I got at Craft Warehouse in the dollar bins. And I thought it was really pretty. So they're blank inside, but they are matted on the back. And they just slide right back into that pocket. And then that page opens up. So right here, you have a large space for a photo, for a four by six photo. And then over here is just a pocket. Look at that piano paper. So here is a large four by six. Oh, actually this one can be cropped down to a five by seven. And then here's another one of those cut aparts here. And then you open up. So each page is the same, but just different pattern paper, obviously. Um, so then this, the end of this guy right here is just a pocket. And then again, right here, a large space for a photo. Really good space for a photo. Again, with another tag and some of that acetate. That little guy pops out like that. And then this actually is magneted. So this just opens up like this. You have a large space here and a large space here. And then you get back to the side and you have a pocket. Again, large space for a photo. And then, of course, you can put a photo here and on the back. I did not map the backs of them because there was no need. 
here with some more of the acetate. I loved the piano piece. I thought it was adorable. This is a cute little piece of the piano. It says, neither a lofty degree of intelligence nor imagination nor both together go to the making of, ge of genius. Love, love, love. That is the soul of genius. I just loved some of these cut aparts. Again, here comes another pull out here and this is matte popped up so you can just slide a photo right in there of course the inside is blank here's this the center stage piece of the paper and that goes right back in there again popped up large space for a photo just gorgeous uh and then over here a pocket oh i'm gonna have to fix that little piece there the paper is very thin just so you know and it's not double-sided because the paper's so old uh here's the piano and here's one of the mats i'm gonna leave that out so i can fix that one and again over here it says duet large space for a photo and again another photo mat love the music no acetate and I love this little all these little cut aparts are just adorable because I don't know what musical instruments I think she just has a very musical family here again is another one of the pullouts it's popped up so you can definitely slide a photo and then there's the back side of that one and of course you know they open I kind of liked leaving the pockets like that instead of hidden again for a large space for a photo and over here another five by seven mat and then the larger drum cut out here i love the music note paper <laughs> over here another pocket and again a large space for a photo it says rhythm a rhythm a strong regular repeated pattern of movement or sound this was another really pretty um acetate piece i will take it out because it is really pretty Loved that. And again, she could put that anywhere throughout the book. And then here's the lady dancing. Loved her. And then here is, I want to say it's the cello. And then again, um, this one, magnets. So you have a large space for a photo, a large space for a photo. This is also um, popped up right here. So there's two magneted pages, and then there's, you know, a couple that are just pullouts. Again, with a large photo mat here. And then this is music to my ears, a large photo mat area. Cute little cut aparts with the acetate again. And this one pulls out. It says music is a higher uh, reservation than all wisdom and philosophy. Empty and in the back, sing your heart out. So that's for that pocket. And then again over here, large space for a photo. You can just tuck it under. Two more photo mats here. And then I've got the last two pages here. So again, just a photo mat that you can pull out. This is Overture, large space for a photo. This was one of the papers that I just kind of fussy cut out the little border strip with. Put another pocket page at the back with another pocket with some more of that acetate pictures. Isn't that gorgeous? So they definitely loved being able to try to use the acetate in this book. And, I, and like I said, I really like this idea. So they kind of have to be free floating. Um, and you can kind of see my glue marks, but you know, I think once you get photos in there, I think you might just ignore those. <laughs> At least I'm hoping. So folks, that is my beautiful music book. And I hope, I hope, hope, hope my lady loves it because I had a good time making it. And be forewarned, I have enough left over to make another little itty bitty one, and I probably will. So stay tuned for that to come in the future, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks for coming today, folks, and have a blessed day.